Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right guys, well I'm outside this morning. It's a uh, it's a beautiful day. We've actually finally got some uh, really nice rainfall. Hang on one second. Yeah, Bubba. Jazzy's outside, matey. Yeah, she's having a look around. It won't last long. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we finally got some decent rain, uh, so it's it's going to be a really nice day. So today we're pulling out the old radiator in the uh, V8 in the Fairmont, uh, dropping in the new one, and we're also going to replace the battery, uh, which is a bit bit of a dud. And then um, I think we will then move on to the suspension in the next couple of weeks. I need to get that done. It's um, it's totally uh, uh, flogged out. So anyway, guys, enough out of me. Uh, let's uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, going to start by taking these two air inlets uh, off, plus the top engine cover, and then we'll proceed from there. Now, if you haven't worked on one of these like myself, on this uh, top engine cover, they're actually, let me see if I can, they're little um, hex heads, and the smaller ones are actually little star heads. So just keep that in mind if you um, do one of these. Uh, thought that might help. Okay, what we're doing now, we're about to take the uh, the radiator shroud out. So on the left-hand side here, there's a, um, a little rubber hose, another uh, air cooling line for the uh, battery box. And there's a Phillips head screw there, uh, a Phillips head screw there. And these, this shroud sits on um, a couple of locators. And um, what we're doing as well, we, as in I've got my brother here, we're just going to take the, um, the fan off as well in the one go, just so we're going to give ourselves a bit more room and it's a bit more comfortable to, um, to do the radiator work. So uh, that's what we're doing now. All right, the shroud and the uh, fan have been removed. and that, that just gives us so much more room uh, to work with. Nice and easy if you want to get in and work on it work on any of these uh, this this front section which is great and here's the new radiator now also on the radiator to uh, disconnect we've as you can see we've removed the bottom hose then there's a couple of lines this small one here which runs up to there and then underneath you've got a slightly bigger one let's see if I can get it focused just down there it's a larger one and then that runs to a hose that goes underneath and goes into the reservoir there so though both of those have been uh, removed now you've also got the uh, coolant line for the um, for the auto transmission which uh, they need to come off as well. All right, those two cooler lines for the auto have been removed. We've just got one hanging there and the other one is just wrapped up in the rag there. And now we've got a 15 mil bolt there and top on the other side, 15 mil bolt there. And then that is it. They're just sitting on dowels or something, are they? Just the two bolts at the top and then we can uh, take that radiator out. Alright, so what we've done is those, uh, you'll see a rubber down there. A rubber seat basically. And another one there. I said dowels before, but rubbers, dowels. You know what I mean. Um, we would just clean them up and just cleaned up along that bottom channel to get any rubbish out. Plus also along the, um, the condenser we've gone through and picked out any bits of debris that might be in that. So what we're going to do now is um, drop in the new radiator.
Now one thing I should have pointed out earlier is that these little rubbers, mounting rubbers, there's one on this side and one on the other side, we just basically took them out of the old radiator and they go straight back into the, uh, into the new one. Yep, and these little, the uh, screw clips as well, take them off the old one and put them onto the new one. And just basically make sure it's sitting in those um, bottom rubbers. When putting those coolant lines back on for the auto, just made sure that there was no gunk on the lip of those hose connections and nothing in the uh, thread that was going to cause any issue when it's uh, threaded back into the um, female connector on the radiator. Alright guys, everything is back on, everything is buttoned up and double checked. So all good, new batteries in there now. And uh, we're about to start it up and we'll take it for a spin, make sure there's no issues, no leaks, and just uh, see what that temperature is now doing. So uh, let's go for a cruise. So caps on half turn. Yep, run it up at two grand and um, bleed it out. Hello again guys, it is the next day. We did take the car for an extensive road test yesterday afternoon. The car went absolutely fantastic. Uh, the temperature is sitting so much lower now with the new radiator um, and the car has been going great. So I've just been cruising up and down the back roads here, uh, just cruising on 100, just getting the temperature up and it's sitting nice and cool. So really, really happy with it. So nothing more to do with that now. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll show, give you a quick look at the, uh, at the temperature. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like this uh, tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If it um, made you an emotional mess, please give it a thumbs down. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.